good morning students hope you all are doing good welcome to your social class please open page number 170 of your textbook in the previous lessons we have discussed about the life in tropical and subtropical regions and also life in temperate grasslands today we are going to discuss about life in the desert right if you open your textbook you'll find a picture in the textbook this one can you observe the difference between the attire of the people here a person is in thin clothes very light clothes and here a person is in thick clothes both these people live in desert area only but the attire the dress they wear is different what is different why is the difference in the dress they wear if we know what is a desert and if you know the different types of deserts then you will be able to understand clearly why they wear different type of clothes right so what is a desert first of all an area characterized by an arid climate arid means very dry climate that is a desert clear a desert is an area characterized by an arid climate now depending on the temperature average temperature deserts are divided into two types they are hot deserts and cold deserts so here the picture is given right in the beginning we have discussed this person lives in hot desert so he wore light thin clothes here the person lives in cold desert so he or she wore thick clothes so depending on the type of the desert they wore their dress so to bear the temperature extreme temperatures of particular regions they wear that attire right now here few examples are given in the textbook for hot deserts and cold deserts the examples of hot deserts are the sahara desert the kalahari desert the arabian desert the thar desert and the great victoria desert and cold deserts are here examples are also given for cold deserts the siberian desert the gobi desert and antarctica and the ladakh region in india is also considered as high altitude cold desert so in this lesson we are going to discuss about one hot desert and one cold desert so in today's class we'll discuss about hot desert which is the sahara desert and we'll discuss about landforms of the sahara climate of sahara natural vegetation and wildlife of sahara and also life in the sahara in tomorrow's class we'll discuss about ladakh which is in india which is a cold desert people living in the sahara wear loose but thick clothes that cool their bodies by trapping moisture and protect them against hot dry winds and dust storms the light colors of their clothes also reflect heat and help in keeping their bodies cool people living in ladakh wear thick clothes made of animal fur that keep them warm by trapping body heat the dark colors of their clothes also absorb heat and keep them warm the environment in the deserts is extremely harsh but people have been living in these environments for centuries wearing clothes that are best suited to the harsh environment is one way by which people have adapted to it you will be learning about other ways by which people have adapted themselves in this lesson let us know about hot desert 
सहारा द सहारा द सहारा इज बाउंड बाय द अटलांटिक ओशन इन द वेस्ट द मेडिटरेनियन सी एंड द एटलास माउंटेन्स इन द नॉर्थ द रेड सी इन द ईस्ट एंड द साहेल रीजन इन द साउथ इट स्प्रेड्स अक्रॉस द कंट्रीज ऑफ अल्जीरिया चट लिबिया इजिप्ट माली मोरक्को मॉरिटेनिया नाइजर सूडन टूनीजिया एंड वेस्टर्न सहारा द सहारा एक्सटेंड्स फ्रॉम ईस्ट कोस्ट ऑफ नॉर्थ अफ्रीका टू द वेस्ट कोस्ट these are the landforms of sahara desert the main physical features of the sahara are the hamadas hamadas are elevated rock covered plateaus from which the sand has been blown away the regs the middle one regs are plains made of sand and gravel and the last one is ergs ergs are vast plains of desert covered with sand huge sand dunes cover most of the ergs however ergs make up to just 20% of the sahara and 70% are regs climate of sahara Sahara experiences an arid and extreme climate. Summers are very hot and winters range from cool in the coastal areas to very cold in the interiors. Can you say students why it is so? Because the temperature in the coastal areas is milder due to the moderating influence of the oceans and seas. whereas the interiors of the continents are far away from this influence the northern plateaus sometimes experiences snowfall you know i can tell you the reason for this too because temperature is lower at higher altitudes precipitation averages at less than 25 cm annually it decreases inwards from the coast and the daily range of temperature refers to the difference between the maximum and minimum temperatures recorded in a day the average difference between daytime and nighttime temperatures is 15 degrees centigrade to 20 degrees centigrade let us know about natural vegetation and wildlife the main vegetation of the sahara consists of cacti and shrubs these plants have adapted to the arid conditions of the deserts their roots leaves thorns and stems store moisture animals found in the sahara include camels hyenas weasels foxes jackals mongoose scorpions snakes lizards and frogs birds like ostriches ravens owls and larks also inhabit the sahara you can see the oasis in the picture there trees like date palm oleander olive cypress mastic and acacia can be found near oasis an oasis is an area of vegetation in a desert usually surrounded a spring or similar water source hope you know what is when we as a water body present in the desert available there now let us see life in the sahara the population in the sahara is very low while earlier 
Several nomadic communities live in the Sahara. Today only a few scattered clusters remain. Among them, the Bedouin and Tuareg are some of the largest groups. Bedouin, Bedouin means desert dweller. They rear animals like goats, camels, sheep, donkeys and cattle. The animals used for transport and for milk, hide and wool. Hide means the skin and wool. The people generally wear heavy loose robes to protect themselves against the fierce sun, dust storms and hot winds. They also cover their heads with cloth or turbans. You can see the pictures there. In most deserts, camels are used to transport goods and people. They are a vital part of the people lives, people's lives. Next, the second picture shows the men in blue. They are Tuareg men. They can be identified by the blue robes they wear. The men also cover their faces and their head. You can see in the third picture the tent. It is a Tuareg camp. Most of their tents are made of animal skin. Last one you can see. A Bedouin family. And in the Nile Valley in Egypt. And the crops grown are rice, wheat, barley, beans and cotton. The trees provide shade and protect the region from harsh winds. Sahara is also rich in minerals like petroleum, iron, manganese, uranium. Rich deposits of petroleum and coal in Algeria, Libya and Egypt have led to the development of industries in the region. Industrialization has encouraged people of nomadic communities to settle down. Actually, nomadics are the people who move from one place to another, but because of the industrialization, they started settling down there. Transportation has also been gradually modernized, highways weave along ancient caravan routes. In many places, trucks have replaced camels in transporting goods. I want to tell you an important uh, point in the climate which I have missed. Dry and hot sandy winds blow over the region in late winter and spring. They are known variously as the Khamsin in Egypt, Ghibli in Libya, Harmattan in Northwest Africa and Chile in Tunisia. Let us quickly recap what we have learnt from the beginning. We have seen why the people wear different clothes who live in hot deserts and cold deserts. We discussed about the boundaries of Sahara. We also discussed about landforms in the Sahara. We came to know about the climate of Sahara and natural vegetation and wildlife of the Sahara. Finally, the life in the Sahara. So this is about the Sahara Desert which is more than two and a half times the size of India.